Gaza has been the center of conflict for more than four decades after Israel captured the settlement from Egypt in 1967. Whilst Israel withdrew troops in 2005, the conflict is far from over as sea, air and land blockades continue Palestinian suffering. July saw the longest period of violence in Gaza yet, when the killing of three Israeli teenagers triggered a 51-day-long war. 2,104 people were killed, 69% of whom were civilians. Whilst a truce was declared, two attacks last week have postponed peace talks once again. Um, I'm hopeful at the end of the day, I mean, one day we will see a light at the end of the dark tunnel. But not for the time being. Hopefully our children, they will see it one day. <laughs> I think that the West can do more for Palestine, not only Gaza, because it's the, the duty of the international community to find a just solution to this problem. Could you tell us more about your charity, Resilient? You know, it's, it's an effort to um, draw a smile on people's faces. It's um, nothing compared to um, the bigger charities or international NGOs, civil society organizations who try to help. So, um, I mean, we have a duty to do whatever we can in order to alleviate the suffering. So whilst there is still a long way to go for Gaza, with charities and awareness campaigns like Resilient, there is still hope. This is Philip Joss for Buckingham News.